The Montgomery County Council last week passed a controversial smoking ban designed to eliminate smoking on all county-owned properties, including bus shelters. This means parks, recreation centers, everywhere. Susan, according to the sponsor of the ordinance, Nancy Florine, the county's not going to enforce this ban, but instead going to depend on residents to tell smokers that they're not allowed to smoke in these areas. Why pass a law if you announce at the same time that government's not going to enforce it? Well, I think there could ultimately be a little bit of enforcement, but um, I applaud Nancy Florine, and I know that Liz Rubin in Annapolis is applauding it because um, having recently been at a bus stop with people smoking, it's very, very, very frustrating. And now that we are getting into this environment where people don't like to be around smoke, I think it's a great thing. And I'm going to call Sheriff Popkin to see if I can get a little badge. And what I'll do is get uh, everybody just, a little badge. You know, just, and I'm going to go to Jim on this. Do you see the danger of deputizing Susan's little badge here? a whole county of anti-smoking zealots. I'm trying to find the right word. I think ridiculous is the word that comes to mind. This is ridiculous <coughs> that citizens are gonna police other citizens. It's gonna cause fights, <laughs> arguments, and how do you enforce it? It's, it's- Gun I, control. Well, I was so gonna it, say- no, this, this is the same thing that the county has done with, with the bag tax. They're, they have, they, they have deputized people to go and rat on vendors and merchants who don't charge for bags. This is crazy that we're creating a whole vigilantism of <laughs> activism.